Here are three things to avoid when praying. Number one, avoid public shows. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 to 6, Jesus Christ says, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrite, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogue and in the corners of the street, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have received their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy inner chamber, and having shut thy door, pray to thy father who is in secret, and thy father who seeth in secret shall recompense thee. So don't go stand in the public places. Some people will stand in the street corners. Some people will go to the field at night and be shouting on top of their voice when people are passing by. If your motive is to be seen that you are a prayer warrior, guess what? You have already received your reward. God says you are not going to get any other thing. The second thing to avoid when you are praying is avoid vain babbling or repetition. In verse 7 and 8 of Matthew chapter 6, Jesus Christ says, And when you are praying, do not use vain repetitions as the Gentiles. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before you pray. When you are praying, don't pray like a pagan. Don't pray like those people who worship idols. They mention one verse over and over and over again. That is not important. When you are praying, be specific. Go straight to the point. And speak to God and God will answer your prayer. Finally, the third thing you need to avoid when praying is that avoid grudging your spouse. Listen to this if you're a married person. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7. Husbands, in the same way, be considerate as you live with your wives and treat them with respect as a weaker partner and as heirs with you of the gracious gifts of life so that nothing would hinder your prayers. If you are abusing your husband, if you are abusing your wife, God will not listen to your prayers. Avoid it.